Hi, this is Dr. Kendra Pearsall with the Enlighta.com weight loss newsletter. And today I'd like to talk to you about goal setting. This is a true story about Jim Carrey, the star of The Mask and Ace Ventura pet detective. I'm actually a fan of his. I think he's very funny. Jim Carrey was a struggling actor in Canada and he wanted to make it into showbiz. He knew he had talent. And so what he did was he actually wrote himself out a check for Jim Carrey, $10 million, because he vowed that that's how much he was gonna make in his first big debut in a film. And sure enough, when he was, um, when he was cast in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, they paid him ten million dollars. So, it's the moral of the story, and there's lots of stories like this. But the the purpose of the story is to tell you that it really helps to set your sights on something very specific that you want to manifest. And so, if you want to lose weight, if you want to be at a certain weight, you need to write it down. You need to write it down over and over, and you need to put it everywhere in your house where you can see it, or at least a few places, or at least one place. Put it on your screensaver on your computer, or put it in your bathroom so you can look at your goals every day. I know one very successful person in business, and he has his goals written down, and he puts them in his on the wall of his bathtub. And so every night he takes a bath and he stares at his goals. And this man is very, very successful. And he reaches all of his goals. But he was not very successful until he really sat down and wrote them down and really focused on them. I know another person who's highly successful in his career and his family life. And it's the first thing he does when he gets up in the morning, the very first thing he does before he checks his email, before he exercises, before he showers, before he does anything, he does some gratitude where he, he thanks the universe for everything that he has, and then he reviews his goals. And then he reviews his list of things to do today that will bring him closer to those goals. This is a very, very powerful exercise. What he also does is before he goes to bed at night, he reviews his goals again and plans his day for the following day of what he's going to do to accomplish those goals. Now, ideally, you'd want to set goals in many areas of your life. You want to set goals in terms of your personal relationships. You'd want to set goals in terms of your spiritual life, career, finances, parenting. Ideally, you'd have goals in, in all of these areas. But, we are a weight loss website and I just want to talk to you right now about weight loss. So if you have certain goals that you want to reach in terms of your ideal weight, then you need to set specific goals and you need to make them smart goals. And in this newsletter, I go into detail about what a smart goal is. It's specific. It needs to be measurable, obtainable, realistic, and it needs to be time bound. So you can't just say, I want to lose 50 pounds. That's not specific. That's, I mean, that is specific, but it's not time bound because it could be 50 pounds over the course of your whole lifetime, or is it 50 pounds in one year? So it has to be specific, but there's something very magical about writing it down. When you write it down, it becomes more of a contract. It becomes real. If it's in your head, then it's a pipe dream and it's not real. So you need to write it down. And then you need to have a plan of how you're going to get there. Because it's, it's easy to be an idealistic dreamer and say, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Great. How is the question. So then you need to have goals written and specifically what you need to work on in order to obtain that goal. You have the overarching goal and then you need to have the sub goals underneath it of how you're going to get there. And you need to have a, a plan every day for what you're going to work on to achieve that goal. And you need to be excited about the goal. Ideally, you'd create images, perhaps on your computer near the goal, 
of what you want to look like someday, things in images that you're, inspire you and get you in a positive state of mind. Because there's going to be things out there that are going to, um, they're going to derail your progress. There's going to be temptations. There's going to be negative emotions that will make you want to do something that may sabotage your, it may make you want to overeat or make you want to eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream or make you want to blow off your exercise that day. There's things that are going to derail you. So it helps to have these goals and helps to have positive photos near the goals, images that you can focus on and bring you in a positive state of mind when you read over your goals that will inspire you to stay on a steady road of progress to meet them. If you want to know more about goal setting and how to do it to be successful, then I suggest that you sign up for the Enlighter Weight Loss Program and we teach you how to do that. And goal setting is very important on the program. So I wish you the best of luck in reaching your weight loss goals and let us know if we can help. Bye-bye.